Welcome to another edition of Behance Take on this wonderful Saturday morning. I hope everyone had a good week. Um, I'm going to do a quick wrap up of the New York sports team. So I'm going to start off with football. The Giants had a quiet week, other than that one scare with uh, Sterling Shepard. Everybody thought it was going to be a bad knee injury because he got carted off. Uh, but thank God it was just a sprained ankle. He's going to be taking it easy for the next few weeks. And hopefully he's ready for week one. Um, I don't see the Giants pushing him because it's one of those nagging injuries. If you ever had an ankle injury, they take a long time to heal. And he might not be ready to go for the whole season, but thank God it wasn't a knee injury. So that was a good sign out of Giants camp this week. Um, it's been really quiet Giants camp. It's been work as work as it always is. It's been a lot of fights they've been saying in the media, but it's okay, that's what happens. If you never played the game of football, you would never understand it. If you did, you know it's part of the game because you're just playing, going up against the same guy over and over and over again. They haven't played anybody different yet. So next Friday, when they play the Steelers, it's going to be a fun game. Hopefully they get a lot of hits in, so they're ready to go for the regular season. Um, it's, which the starters are not going to be playing most, obviously. They'll probably play a series or two and get it, get out of there as quick as possible. Um, it's going to be exciting to see the backups and the guys who are trying to make the team. I'm also excited, obviously, to see the rookies do their thing. Uh, I want to see how Geno Smith reacts and hopefully see if he makes the team because uh, Johnson is an 11-year vet who knows the playbook already, so it's going to be an interesting battle for the quarterback number two um, for the Giants. So let's see what happens there. Hopefully another healthy week, relatively healthy week from them, and hopefully they play smart and sound and ready to go against the Steelers on Friday. As for Jet Camp, it's been quiet as well. Um, Adams, their rookie safety, um, did have a Q&A Q &A early in this week, and he said he would die on the field after the, all the CTE reports were coming out that whoever studied the CTE um, study, only one person didn't have CTE when they passed away. So that's the alarming news. If you want to research more, go for it. Um, but it is scary news. Um, he obviously backtracked it after all that came out. For all the fans that were at the Q&A cheering that he wanted to say that, uh, it's a little weird, but it is what it is. Each, each, the, each there to their own about that. Um, on the Met front, Alain Ahmed Rosario and Jay Bruce being on hot streak. Um, it's been fun to watch Rosario. He's, it's been his first week since being called up from AAA. So it's been really fun watching how natural he is at shortstop. It's like watching the younger, taller Jose Reyes, if you ask me. He looks, he reminds me of Lindor a little bit. Um, once he gets comfortable with the Mets, it's going to be really fun to watch. Um, hopefully today, um, I'm going to be at the Met Dodger game, sitting with the seven lines. Steve will be there as well, my wife and Vin. So I know Vin and Steve are going to try to get there early, do some recording with uh, the people at the seven line army. Um, I haven't talked to them yet, so I do not know what time they're getting to the field. So, if I get there, I get there. If not, um, I'll be at, obviously at the game watching. Um, if you guys see any of us, come stop by, say hi, and let's go Mets with that. Um, the Yankees are in a little slump, unfortunately. Um, Jaime Garcia didn't have his um, debut that he was hoping for. He was the first pitcher to pitch for three different teams for his last three starts since 19, 1800s. So, you know it's a rare situation that he he's in. So, he's he's all scatterbrained, as you would imagine, being traded twice within a week, um, as anybody would be. So, that's natural. Hopefully, they wake up and salvage this series with the Indians. They already lost the first two games. Hopefully, they find a way to at least find a way to split the next two games. Uh... No one's hitting in situational hitting situations, so that's part of the reason the bats just gotten quiet when there's runners in scoring position, which happens, but they need to find a way to wake up because the Red Sox won last night. It's going to be a crazy battle down the stretch for the next week and a half. Um, next week and a half, next month and a half to two months. So it, that'll be fun as well. Like I mentioned before, me and Steve will be at the... Me, Steve, and Vin, and Nicole are all going to be at the Met game today, sitting in the 7-line army. 
So that should be fun. I haven't sat there in three years. So it's funny. Before they were good, I went. And then now, they, since they're not going to be making the playoffs, I'm going again. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see how, how much the Seven Line Army grew within the last two to three years, which I haven't been able to be a part of. So I'm excited about that. Steve and Vin are going to be taking a lot of fun footage with that. Um, hopefully I'm there. If not, I'm well. Um, Monday night, me and Steve are definitely... I'm definitely going to be there with Steve on Monday night at Curtis Granderson's grandkids' 10-year anniversary at the New York City Public Library event. It's going to be a fun event. We're sure to get a lot of footage, hopefully. And if not footage, a lot of audio and a lot of pictures on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the SND Podcast right there. So it's going to be a fun weekend with Steven and me and Vin. And be sure to check us out. And be sure to check us out at SD Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And be sure to check us out. Have a good weekend and enjoy your sports. Later.